Scorpio, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Let's get into your reading. So I had did a reading for y'all and I don't know what happened to it, but I got, um, I'm just going to tell you what I remember. I remember uh, picking up on energy of people going through your phone. You may want to check your phone for spyware. Check your phone for spyware. Go to a, a, a phone shop or, I don't know, look up on how to check for spyware uh, online. They may give you some steps online on how to check for that. Um, I also got for the masculine Scorpios that there is a energy that comes to your house that knows that you're a deep sleeper and they may be going through your drawers and, and maybe penny pinching and, and taking money from you. Definitely somebody going through your phone. I picked up on spyware and somebody stealing and, and lurking through your home and just looking through your shit when you sleep. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to cut the cards. King of Cups. Five of Swords. The Shadow Side of the Magician. I'm going to share something with you, okay? Uh, I don't know if you're going to get into some type of business partnership or a uh, romantic partnership there is a better option coming be careful before you commit to some opportunity elsewhere because it, it feels this this whatever this is that's coming towards you or being presented towards you in the future or for some of you maybe even now oh, okay my battery is at 20 percent, but maybe even now it could be uh, presented to you. I feel like it's being rushed. Somebody feels like they need to lock something down with you before someone else comes and like stops that from happening or something. A, a offer seems rushed, but not for the best intentions, not for good intentions at all. And it looks like either a better partnership, a better opportunity, better partnership, or a better like person is coming and, and somebody knows that they have a limited time to, to to work something out with you before something either comes out or the opportunity is not there anymore. So I don't know what this is about, but um, be careful signing up for anything. Yeah, there's some type of information that you don't know about a new offer or somebody that's coming towards you. Be patient. Don't rush into anything and the answers will come to you with the back of the high priestess coming out. You being watched by somebody that you blocked. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands, period. This could be a Sagittarius, another Scorpio, a Gemini, a Aries, a Pisces. Yeah, that's what I got. Aquarius as well. Dang, we only in three minutes and 33 seconds and all of that thing came up. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else you need to know? What do you need to know for October? Like, what can you, what can Scorpio placements expect for October? Let's see. Money. Some type of wish being granted for money. You may, um, hmm. Another thing I'm getting with the shadow side of the six of wands is you being able to make a way for yourself instead of being in the shadow under the shadow of someone else you may be the secret weapon or the secret ingredient to somebody else's success and may not feel appreciated you know people somebody that you could be helping uh stabilize their life or their finances in some form of fashion you could be a, a tremendous asset to this person but they act like they don't appreciate you or something like that and it looks like a way is being made for you to shine on your own leaving this person to figure it out on their on their own and it looks like it's just this could be a capricorn another scorpio or a leo that's on some bullshit period so whatever whatever recognition that you're not getting this could be at work 
This could be an ungrateful, entitled ass friend or a partner that expect for you to slay for them and do all this shit for free. They don't give you no recognition. They don't bring no business your way. They don't even say thank you. Bitch, barely say thank you. They're going to have to figure it out on themselves. I mean, on their own. They're going to have to figure it out on their own. And good for them and good for you because it looks like a wish is being granted so you can make a way for yourself. And, and uh, that'll be a lesson for them to learn. Yeah, you on your way to be a boss. You supposed to. You're, you you got some few things that you a few things that you need to learn with the higher fine being here, but you will learn it and you'll turn your back on people that didn't give you a fair shot, doubted you, uh put you in the middle of bullshit, overworked you and underpaid you, took you for granted. Yeah, you gonna be a lesson to a few people. And it looks like you are at the beginning stages, cause, but but you eligible to grow. Like, just because you're new at something and you're not an expert yet, doesn't mean that you won't be. You must be a hands-on type of Scorpio. Uh, once you see something done or do it yourself, you pretty much know the gist of it. And you can only get better with the, with uh, with uh, time, the more you do it. And this baby has the keys. And that apple represents knowledge, so... You know, you good enough to spirit, you good enough for whatever this job is, you good enough to get in the door and move forward from there. And you are stepping into leadership with the back of the emperor being here. And a lot of people that didn't give you a fair chance or didn't treat you right, you're going to have to turn your back on them and you will be a major regret. If somebody's going to take a loss for um, not, ha not handling a situation with you properly. And that's on them. Fuck them. Yeah, whatever. Um, this could be a Taurus or a Libra that's doing this or an Aquarius or a Pisces anything else for October for Scorpio um you able to break free from a toxic situation you got the back of the devil somebody is not gonna be focused on you I don't know if you're trying to get rid of a toxic person or, or leave a toxic situation but it looks like they're gonna be in the position to love bomb somebody else they're gonna be too busy love bombing somebody else or their attention is gonna be elsewhere doing toxic shit with somebody else and that will be your opportunity to break free some of y'all got some money coming you need to move quietly make all of your moves in silence tell nobody Body. um but some type of prayer is being answered that's going to lead you to stability some type of stability financial stability and confidence but you have to move in silence in order to uh not mess up the flow of things and, and interrupt your plans they want you to be confident in your career field too it looks like some type of leadership a person in leadership is getting exposed for some type of corruption uh you may be wondering if you should tell management about a situation regarding sexual harassment at work and you should make sure you have your evidence and make sure that um yeah make sure you have your evidence just in case they don't help you it helps your case the the more you have documented the more it helps you in some form of fashion that's what i'm getting but you got positive changes coming in work in October due to somebody toxic at work not covering their own steps. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody at work that wants, that, that has a crush on you, but I think it's somebody separate from whoever this toxic boss is. It could be the same person, but I feel like it's two different people. This could be a Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. Why am I having... There you go. What's coming in love for um, Scorpio? What's coming in love for Scorpio? What's coming in love for Scorpio? Oh, Lord. Okay. Chai, listen. The first card that came out was the Six of Cups, Chai. Second card that came out was the Eight of Cups, Chai. And the last and third card came out was the Empress. This ain't no... The Emperor. This ain't nobody new. They can have bitch qualities because I did say the Emperor is the Empress instead of the Empress. They could, you know... 
had the potential to be better, but they want to stay in that bitch assness energy. And I don't know, it may be time for you to just keep it the way that it is and y'all stay separate. But definitely somebody that walked away from you or you ended it with is returning back to you and they feel like they're better. And how dare you refuse them as this emperor energy. But the fact that I called them an empress instead of an empress lets me know that they may be still on some bullshit and they may be letting their new lifestyle or whatever this good news is or whatever this level up is get to their head in some kind of way and they may want you to do a little ass kissing or go above and beyond and oh shoot they they didn't level up they want you to cheer for them and all of this old extra shit you know i don't know but they expecting you to jump up and down because they finally done made something of themselves i don't i don't know but this can be an Aries, another Scorpio, or a Cancer. It could be any water sign, any fire sign is what I feel. You are being advised to give this person hell. Like, give them a hard time. Don't don't let them. Uh, they, they coming towards you with the energy of entitlement. Don't reward them for shit. They ain't did shit like that. The stuff that they want recognition for is what they should have been doing from the get-go. Hold your feelings to yourself and... and uh, something you're gonna find out if you decide to stay away from this person or or not you'll see who they really are around the time for your birthday around around your birthday season you'll find out who they really are because some type of mask is coming off and they're gonna be exposed the the universe is gonna help you uh see this person for who they really are so there'll be no forward movement you see how the chariot is broken down under the tower in this car and the mask is coming off at the top it'll all be revealed to you don't rush into anything with whoever the hell this is anybody new uh no okay <laughs> nobody no no not no no i'm so sorry eight of cups no i'm sorry i don't see nobody new oh let me pull some mm, oracle messages <laughs> I tried, shit. I tried. One more shuffle. You got karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment lessons, letting go and loving you. And you got clock. Need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal and progress. So maybe it's not a right, maybe it's not a good time for you to be trying to focus on dealing with somebody else because you may have an unhealthy attachment with somebody that you're not even supposed to be with or that you're still releasing yourself from or still releasing them from you maybe you've been struggling with cord cutting and i don't know but it just don't seem like it's a good time for you to be focused on new just focus on detaching from this and living your best life and moving forward in the most positive direction for yourself and leaving this bullshit behind What's your financial messages? Toxic work. Some of y'all work in a toxic work environment and somebody is being exposed. Queen of Pentacles and the devil. And others of you, you don't have to go through unnecessary trauma or degrading circumstances for money. Somebody feels like you're bound to them because of money or you guys can have some type of obsession with money or fear being poor and it puts you in compromising situations or it has the potential to. So really think about some type of offer that's gonna be presented to you or your current circumstances. Uh, there may be an alternative, another way to do something without all the bullshit that comes with it, you know, or with, uh, be careful with the contracts that you sign to. Something, if you read through it, you'll find out that they may be trying to like scam you or, or cheat you, overwork you and underpay you or something like that. Let me see. What are your financial messages? Oracle messages. Huh. They want you to save money? You got secret stash, finding money, and theft. So protect your identity. Anything else? You could be going through a rough patch with money. Uh, and it's coming to an end because it's like some type of document or contract is coming in for you to sign that involves you making money. Some of you guys could be work. Some of you guys could work for a temp service. 
and things may be slow. You may be already in the waiting period and you're about to hear something about a job or a new contract. Yep, that's what I see. What does your spirit guys want you to know? A wish is being granted, but you got to complete a cycle by yourself and do it on your own. You got the eight of pentacles, you got the eight of cups going into the nine of cups with the world and the nine of pentacles. This is something, there's something that you want, but you have to accomplish whatever it is prior to getting your wish by yourself. You you may feel like you need to do it with somebody else or some another person has to be involved when no, it's something that you gotta overcome by yourself before you reach that next level, is what I'm getting. And you can do it, you know? You really can. What's your moonology cards? Oh, well, your moonology message. Confidence is your key to success. Emotions are running high and you are good enough. Expect a powerful change, okay? Try not to let people piss you off too with full moon and Aries, a fiery climax approaches. Uh, it definitely with the emotions here too. You could be a little triggered. You could be easily triggered in October. Try not to let nobody get the best of you. Uh, people may say things intentionally and unintentionally that may make you second guess yourself and doubt yourself. Don't let them see you sweat. I don't care how hurt you are. I don't care how annoyed you are. Go somewhere in a private place and scream that shit out. Cry that shit out. Do not give people the satisfaction of letting them know that they affect you. Fuck them. And they mad me too. Okay. What are your angel answers? Then we're going to wrap your reading up. You got meditation brings answers, abundance, trust, and choose a new direction. And you need to be telling somebody no. There is somebody that's waiting on an answer from you and the answer should be hell no. You see that explanation point at the end? That's a hell no, okay? All right. Give me a kiss. I love you, okay? Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. We out. Bye.